Hello everyone, my name is Chris. Since the season 1, the meta in the finals has changed drastically and in this video I'm gonna explain everything you need to know when it comes to your playstyle, weapon choices, as well as meta compositions that you can run in order to effectively dominate ranked. This video is gonna be specifically useful for players that feel lost in the game, whether they were playing a certain role and now it's outdated or they are trying out something new, for example, heavy, medium, light, and they are learning a role which they never played before in a composition they never played before. I will explain everything step by step, and you will no longer have any questions regarding Scar versus AK, Lewis versus M60 versus Shotgun, LH1 versus MP5, whether I should off angle, whether I should play with my team. This video will explain everything and answer all your questions regarding macro gameplay as well as weapon choices let's get started before we begin with individual best weapons you have to understand what is the current meta about you have heavy medium light as your composition of choice why because you have the insanely overpowered teleporter because shotgun is completely nerfed and cooked to the point where opponents can just play lewis gun barricade and completely devour you alive to the point where your medium is no longer a support but another light player with movement and a little bit more hp and without invisibility seems very complicated but in reality everything is super easy yet extremely different right so what is going to be your plan as a heavy medium light team right so you took hml what is your what is your game plan what are you going to do on the map so your typical your typical fight looks like this you approach a certain point position of power you beam a person you see that he's low hp you ask your medium for a pod you pod you shield yourself you place a barricade and then you continue fighting at an off angle. Meanwhile, while you are doing that with your medium, your light player is sneaking behind from an angle, preferably holding his ground. For example, maybe he's head glitching or maybe he's taking the position of power on the high ground. He's doing that because he's very much afraid of Lewis gun, very much afraid of Scar, very much afraid of RPGs, mines and all that annoying stuff that really makes you want to quit the game when you are playing light. So, you want to approach the same target from multiple angles. And if you would look at the weapon choices, you will quickly realize that we have a long-range poke meta. Meaning that if you are taking weapons that are forcing your team to play close directly and indirectly, you are throwing the game for your teammates. Because you are always going to get kited meaning that opponents can change the position of the fight and pull back, give you a little bit more space, keep the distance between you, and then continue applying pressure while you are always, you always have to rely on your medium movement, you always need to rely on opponents' positional mistakes, and this is exactly why shotgun is not an option anymore. Uh, not only it got nerfed, but you have glitches in the game and light is incredibly strong to the point where every single time you will be in a very good range to shoot people with a shotgun you will find yourself in a situation when there is nothing you can do um, to like counterplay that your shield is gonna get completely beamed and annihilated in a second right and then if you would try to play barricade it doesn't kind of work because you're playing shotgun like why would you even do that and if you're playing c4 you're gonna end up losing the fight against the player that's playing proper setup which is lewis gun barricade dome shield and rpg right so again going back to the fundamental principle if you look at the medium weapon you'll quickly realize that as a medium player you really don't want to heal beam your heavy that much because the second you start doing that is the second you lose out on position like the heal beam is just inferior like notice I'm, I'm barely out healing the damage that he's dealing with a pistol, with an Uzi, like, tapping him, right? So if that would be a really good player, he would have just clipped him through my heal. So instead of trying to always follow your heavy player and play like you are an owner of a dog on a leash, you want to keep your distance. So instead of playing close, you want to find an off angle on a medium and try to cook enemies from far. You can help your... Heavy player, of course, with movement, 
you can prolong the zipline across like this so he can also take it you can ask him to come to you and jump up together but you really don't want to end up in a situation where you are forcing yourself to play with your heavy because when you are doing so you quickly realize that healing does not relieve pressure i would give you an analogy where um, you are getting consistently like it's getting consistently hot on the street and instead of moving somewhere cold you are keep standing out in the hot and trying to use a fan to cool yourself off it is very inefficient it is like it goes against uh, common sense and you will end up in a situation where you will not be able to save your heavy as much he is not the main character anymore he is not the player that goes in one versus three and dominates everyone with the shotgun he is a decoy, a fish bait, a person that is playing for his light. A person that's being the shadow to the light. To the sun, which is light. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. So instead of doing this, which is like, notice, it's a, I, I barely outheal him. Uh, you want to relieve pressure, right? So if you kill the person that's killing your heavy, you are healing your heavy by killing your opponents because if you kill him there is not going to be a person that can apply pressure so he does not need heal right but there is an edge of course of course you don't want to go full egoist mode you don't want to be the person that's saying like oh sorry eternal chris said that you never play with your heavy that's why i, I abandon you that's why you would have to feel neglected and stuff no absolutely not absolutely not you still sometimes have to heal your heavy but more importantly you need to heal your light because even though heavy is going to be completely fine behind the barricade behind the mesh shield behind the uh, bubble and behind the natural cover your light does not have any of that and he's extremely extremely squishy so if your light won a one versus one he needs to come back to you receive some heal and play on the body of a person that he just killed he can stun gun a medium that's trying to use the defibrillator he can go for the kill on a heavy that's trying to take the body and there are so many things that he can do in order to actually prevent um, opponents to perform a slow reset and actually have chances of uh, coming back from like a man down situation so, okay, uh, when you look at AK, it's a great weapon, but not in the current meta. You will not be able to reliably kill players one versus one. You will not reliably be able to uh, win duels against players that will play Scar. And you will force yourself to play closer with your heal, or excuse me, with your heavy. And what's going to happen is that you're going to catch RPGs to the face. You're going to catch... Um, some unnecessary damage because your heavy has natural cover he can create cover using barricades mesh and bubble but you are completely naked so for example if your heavy forced you in the open um, you will not be able to heal beam him efficiently because every single time you will do so you will either lose on the heal beam potential or you're just gonna get completely uh, annihilated out in the open so you have to keep in mind that right so always keep the natural cover and if you see that you cannot save your heavy just try to like shoot back try to relieve the pressure right because again we spoke about it before and when you look at the light class you quickly realize that there is not many things you can play because you again always want to keep your distance in the current meta because heavy players are gonna place barricades heavy players have bubbles meshes medium can use the defibrillator medium even if you stun a person like stunning does not mean anything he can just completely annihilate you with a lewis gun and there is nothing you can do to save yourself right so the best thing you can do is to keep your distance you want to find an off angle somewhere you want to play right here for example right so when your heavy is approaching from this side right let's say that they are ready to jump this person you already have to be ready to throw the glitch a little bit before they started and then you poke a person from the distance and this is exactly how you play the biggest mistake i see light players are making is that they are playing close range weapons and creating scenarios and situations for themselves where they have to play close like you realistically you cannot you absolutely cannot play m11 from this range this is unreliable you will not be able to kill anyone you will not be able to poke anyone like this person is standing still i can barely kill him i can barely kill him probably a skill issue but you get what i'm saying right so when you look at the options 
uh, when it comes to your weapons as light, you only have two, which is going to be LH1 or MP5. Again, if you don't care about winning, if you don't care about your team, if you don't care about your rating and rank, uh, it doesn't matter. You can ignore it. It's uh, absolutely not necessary to listen to that, right? But if you are seriously interested in improving uh, at your own rate, these weapons are going to give you the best um for example like the best percentage per your hour spent learning them right so when you look at lh1 this is an amazing amazing weapon absolute s tier in the current state of the game it does insane amounts of damage with headshots if only i can hit them <laughs> but it's not a problem surely you will be able to hit them right it's incredibly versatile meaning that you will be able to play it up close and it's pretty efficient and loses to uh m11 just a little bit oh not to m11 excuse me to mp5 just a little bit but also you have the option to play long range and you are not forcing yourself far meaning that you can create off angles on roofs you can create off angles really really far when opponents are not ready for you and then you can just cook them from here right Again, in comparison with you playing something like pistol, right? It's just really, really unrealistic that you will be able to like cook players from this distance. Like, oh, I'm, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, but this guy's just not dying. Not only that, but players in real game can pull up mesh, can pull up bubble, can pull up RPG, and then it's just like, oh, nah, hell nah. MP5 is still a very solid option. You can absolutely play it. Um, I would go... I would go as far to say is that uh, MP5 is going to be probably better for like newer players or players that not particularly good at aiming because LH1 is a very aim dependent weapon. So um, if you look at the best light players in the world, right? Uh, so number one light player in the world is playing MP5. Number two light player is playing LH1. Number three light player is playing MP5. Number four light player can flex and list goes on list goes on you have players that are playing this weapon and that weapon and of course they choose different play styles and their teammates are choosing different play styles in order to achieve uh, insane results that they are getting through so when you look at the uh at, at your play style as a light with this weapon you quickly realize that something is wrong because before you would be a scaredy cat you would be a person that's not willing to play first not willing to take duels like very very um support ish class to the point where in patch 2.3 you feel invincible almost almost feel invincible light if you play it properly is most certainly the most overpowered and broken class in the game right now to the point where you can solo carry games you can clutch moments where you would not be able to clutch it with medium uh, you have insane advantage over mediums you have insane advantage over light players that have no idea how to play against hml right and overall you will feel you will feel amazing playing light in the current meta like I would I can compare it with almost the state of shotgun heavy in a double heavy medium composition where you're just running in and killing everyone. If you are good at aim, if your game sense is good, you will be able to dominate and slay on this class. You just need to follow some fundamental principles. Principle number one, you are playing at an off angle. The second you are playing with your team is the second every single opponent is looking at you and you are just 150 HP cockroach. Fundamental principle number two, you want to engage second. You want your heavy to take all the fire, all the focus on him. And only that, you go in and you dominate players that are clueless, out of utility, out of ammo, out of position, uh, completely, completely neglecting you, doesn't even know that you were here. So again, going back for the same principle, right? You want your heavy and medium to deal some significant damage, pad on a person you might be able to surprise your enemies with some damage and then your heavy can just pad and finish them off with an rpg right but if let's say you missed a few shots your heavy jumps in you have to wait for opponents to look at them especially if you're playing against heavy medium light because light class can kill another light class in a blink of an eye it takes a few milliseconds to absolutely devour light as another light so the person that loses the sight of a light loses the game light loses the fight and it's just gonna become very very ugly so you play at an off angle 
you create opportunities for your team, you scout for your team, you have to be the rotational coach or not the coach, rotational IGL in-game leader, right? So for example, you are setting up on a high ground, right? And you're like, oh guys, there is a person here. Are you guys ready? Let's spot three, two, one. I'm glitching him and shooting, right? So, and then you like collectively kill a person in comparison with you going in alone. Oh, there is a guy. He shot you. You are one HP. And then you're like, oh guys, I need eight seconds to slow reset, right? Do you see the difference? So hopefully this video was useful apologize for uh, being late with the videos i was just i was just resting i was just having fun um, in other games but i'm gonna slowly come back to making guides for you so you can learn the game and become the best version of yourself thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section see you in the next one take care